Well, hi, Dennis. Hi, how are you? Uh, we are here at yeah, Between yeah. Machines, right? Yeah. And you've got a couple of new things to show us. Yeah, so two prototypes that we're working on, Clocker and Keeper. Um, Clocker is going to be with us hopefully in September, October, and then Keeper will be sometime next year. So um, I might just plug this in so we get some sound. Okay. So Clocker is an algorithmic sequencer. Um, so you set swing and tempo, and then you have five outputs. Uh, there's one, which gives you a pulse on the one of the bar. You have a clock output, which is a straight clock. I'm just sending that into the kick drum at the moment. And then you have these other three uh, outputs here, which are related to these knobs. So you have div, mult, and blend. So, uh, so the main clock uh, goes into the mult, and it, it'll be multiplied by one, which is what you're hearing at the moment, the 16ths, the hi-hats. Or if you go all the way around here, it'll be all 30 seconds, so multiply by two. And then if you set it in the middle, it'll be 50% chance of a multiply by one, 50% chance of multiply by two. So, so by adjusting the probability, you can kind of set the, the feel of the, of the triggers. So div is the same, except it's divide by four and divide by two. So similar idea that the knob sets the probability of one, one or the other. And then if we think about the blend output, blend is a similar idea except for it blends between the div and the mult. So if I'm all the way over here, I'll just connect this rim shot in there. So if I'm all the way over here, then it's using this as a probability to generate the rhythms. And then if I go over here, here you'll see it, here it's that it gets more busier because it's using this probability. So then I can kind of tune it by moving it around here. So if I get something I like, I press this button and then it'll just loop the last bar. So it's a really nice way to make beats very quickly. I can mute the blend output. I can flip the mult and the blend output, so it gives you a nice kind of variation in the rhythm. And then the final thing is this mask knob here, which um, if I add a lot of activity in here, the mask actually, by turning it this way, it removes uh, events, but it also weights them. So if I go uh, counterclockwise, this will be on the offbeat more likely, and this will more likely be on the beat, and then vice versa. Uh, if I go this direction, this will be on the, uh, on the beat, and this will be on the offbeat. So you can play it. So it's super playable. You, it's kind of quasi-intentional as well. You can like literally just kind of drop stuff in as well. So it's a really fast way to make really nice beats. And if you look at this, I'm just using Clocker with these two drum modules here. So in that, in that space, I basically have a drum machine. So uh, yeah, that's Clocker. Um, so the other uh, sequencer is Keeper. It's, that's, it's, um, I've been working on it for a long time, but there's still a little, a little bit to go with it. So you have eight outputs, four inputs. An uh, SD card and a USB socket. So basically, an Ableton push controller connects directly into the USB socket on the module. So from the back of the push controller straight into the module, no computer needed. Um, so each track is kind of uh, uh, lined up here on the bottom. This might be a little bit louder, actually. Um, so yeah, so kick drum. So I can do standard step sequencing. Press play. Track one. So. Ableton's workflow, you press duplicate, you get a copy of the pattern. I can just add snares in, duplicate again, third pattern, add hi-hats in. So we've got swing, um, duplicate again, and I'm using this uh, CV gate pattern here. It's going to the mangrove, so I can play things in. Go to this, this kind of stab here. Turn on the arpeggiator, duplicate the pattern again, and then I can arrange those. Um, I can go to the arrange section, and now I'm playing an arrangement instead of just playing a pattern. If I wanted to add a pattern in, I just add it in. I can skip to whichever one I want. I can delete a pattern, so it's very fluid, very fast. Um, and then one other thing that's worth talking about is um, if this light is flashing here, the shift light in the corner, um, 
I can skip immediately between patterns. So. Then I can capture that and it captures to a new pattern. So this is what I just played. Played very well, but you know. Um, so, so it's a way of just mutating your patterns, making new patterns. It's like you're crossfading between two records or something like that. So, you know, we have recordable raw CV via the touch strip, um, quantize on and off, quantize in real time as you're recording. Um, yeah, the expander adds eight outputs. Um, I mean, there's an immense amount of functionality here. So, so it's a way, the idea is that basically you show up to a gig, you just have your rack and you bring the push controller and that's everything. You don't need any other gear. Um, so yeah, that'll be coming sometime next year. We're still working on that. Brilliant. Um, and I don't know if you mentioned the price. Did you have a price for the clocker? Uh, not sure about clocker. It depends on, you know, the chips and all the rest of it. But somewhere in the range of maybe 250, something like that. And then keeper, it's really hard to know, but probably up around four or 500, you know, somewhere around there, I'd say. Brilliant. But, yeah. Thanks, Ed. Well, Dennis, thank you yeah. very much.